My friends, my amigos, my shamigos. Shane here, and today we've got another real estate rundown. All the cities bundled into one video with time steps. You can go right to your city of choice. Yeah, or just watch them all to get the overall picture. Now, today I'm answering the three big housing market questions. And more importantly, we're focused on current and forward-looking data so that you can actually use the information before it's too late. And stay to the end for my rundown, double down. Two takeaways that you need to know. So hold on tight, and here we go. Cathedral City's market action rose slightly to 79, thanks to an almost doubling of the seven-day number to 92. Big swing there, we'll see if it corrects next week. The seven-day median list price, these homes basically already on the market, dropped a whopping $120,000 down to $430,000, but the 90-day average is holding steady just above $500,000. Good news for you homeowners. Now, the new number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings hitting the market this week. This week, the new listing median price fell like a lead balloon down to almost $405,000, $200,000 decrease from last week. More lower priced homes on the way? We'll see. As far as what's available for purchase this week, inventory stayed steady at 43 for sale against a 42 90 day unit average. That includes 17 incoming new listings and 16 sold listings. So not seeing a surplus to bolster that inventory number. And that's been Cathedral City on the Coachella. The Coachella market action rose to 75, a touch above last week's 71, still strongly entrenched in the seller's market. The seven day median list price, those homes basically already on the market, stayed steady at $308,000, with the nine average holding steady just above $329,000. We'd expect to see that trend continue. The new number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings hitting the market this week. This week, the new listing median price rose almost $50,000 to just under $400,000. So the trend is looking like we're in for price increases unless buyer activity slows. As far as what's available to purchase this week, inventory is flattened to nine units for sale against a 10 unit 90 day average. This is extra challenging as two more homes left the market than came on, adding to the lack of inventory. And that's Coachella on to Desert Hot Springs. The Desert Hot Springs market action remains stable at 74 this week with a little bump from a 10 point gain in the seven day average. This week, the seven day average median price for homes currently on the market is down to $315,000. The 90 day average though, uh, stayed stable at $329,000. The new listing number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. That are the new listings just hitting the market this week. This week, the new listing median price dropped $20,000 to $300,000. And as far as what's available to purchase this week, inventory has fallen to 59 units from last week with the nine average still steady at 55. Yet, we're still chasing inventory as there were more homes leaving the market than coming on this week. And that's been Desert Hot Springs on the Indian Wells. The Indian Wells market action is hovering right around 52 for the nine day average after an almost 50% drop in the seven day average. This week, the median list price for Indian Wells is $3.5 million, flat to last week, which is keeping the 90 day average steady at $2.2 million. Now, the new number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings just hitting the market this week. This week, the new listing median price came in at $3 million, slightly below the current list prices. Now, as far as with available purchase this week, inventory is stabilized at 27 units, which is consistent with the 90 day average at 44. With more homes going out of the market than on, we'll see if those numbers hold. And done for Indian Wells. On to Indio. Indio's market action is like a speedometer at the funny car races, stuck at the top end. It's an extreme seller's market with the market index topping our local city charts up one to 92, thanks to a second weekly average of 100. And hold on tight, it's gonna get worse. This week, the median home price of active listings jumped to $598,000, an over $12,000 move from last week. The 90 day average median price rose a bit to $486,000. The new listing number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings just hitting the market this week. This week, the new listing median price rose a bit to $545,000. And as far as what's available to purchase this week, inventory has decreased the 55 units for sale, down seven from last week, but significantly below the 90 day average of 78 units. The kicker here is that we lost almost four more homes than we gained last week. So it's a good bet prices are gonna get stronger, all things being equal. And that's been Indio. Off to La Quinta. The La Quinta market action relaxed a bit this week to 62, but holding strong in the 90 average of 84. This week, the median home price rose $18,000 to $950,000. 
yet the 90-day average dropped a bit to $937,000. The new number tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings just seen in the market this week. This week, the new listing median price dropped almost $200,000 to $649,000, signaling possibly good news for buyers going forward. As far as what's available to purchase this week, inventory has risen nine units to 108 for sale against the 90-day average um, of 115 units. Free buyers, inventory has corrected a bit from last week's shortfall as there were 12 additional homes after subtracting weekly sales. And that's basically more homes coming on the market than sold, and typically that's going to help stabilize prices. And that's been the Quinta on the Palm Desert. Palm Desert Market Index is planted right around 81. Same as last month's market index of 81. Still pushing the upper bounds of the seller's market. This week, the median list price is just under $800,000. Same from last week, as the 90-day average median stays consistent around $860,000. The new number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings just hitting the market this week. This week, uh, the new listing median jumped $100,000 up to $600,000. So you can love higher prices to come? We'll see. As far as what's available to purchase this week, inventory has increased nine units to 100, still cresting above the 90-day average of 94. Good news for buyers is there was an inventory surplus this week of 10 units. That's great. Check and done for Palm Desert. On to Palm Springs. The Palm Springs market index is floating around 83. No real change to last week. And since 30 is a balanced market, staying firmly entrenched in the seller's market. This week, the median list price rose a touch to over the 90-day average median of $1.3 million. A slight correction up from last week. The new number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings just hitting the market this week. And this week, the new listing median price was down a few percent to $949,000. As far as what's available to purchase this week, inventory has stayed stable at 69 units with a 90-day average of 73 units. And we saw a nice uptick in the quantity of new homes on the market, losing only a net two this week. So pretty consistent overall. So our cruise down Main Street is done. Uh, let's head off to uh, Rancho Mirage. The Rancho Mirage market action is hovering in the mid-60s consistent with last month and last week, making it still one of the more buyer-friendly areas to buy in. This week, the median list price fell a touch to $1.2 million against a 9 day average median, staying the same at $1.4 million. The new number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings just hitting the market this week. This week, the new listing median price dropped ever so slightly to $890,000. As far as what's available to purchase this week, inventory has continued a gentle decline, losing another three now to 51 units for sale against a 90-day average of 64 units. And sold inventory outpaced new listings by three, so we'd expect prices to stay right around where they are now. And we're done with Ranch Barrage on 1,000 Bombs. The market action 1,000 Bombs popped to the top of the charts at 100 this week, with the 90-day average still hovering in the mid-50s in one of the most buyer-friendly markets in the greater Palm Springs area. It's the closest to a balanced market index of 30 that we've seen lately. This week, the median list price stayed consistent at right around $250,000 against a 90-day median average of $229,000. Prices make it big for resurgence and an overall flat last few weeks. The new number we're tracking this week is the new listing median price. These are the new listings just hitting the market this week. This week, the new listing median price was zero. <laughs> As no new homes came on the market. Bad news for buyers, good news for sellers. And as far as what's available for purchase this week, inventory has dropped to six units for sale against the 90 average of six units. And with a net loss of two units this week, may indicate that Thousand Palms is in for a bit of a correction price-wise. And now on to our rundown, double down. All right, that covers 10 of our local cities. Today, I'm adding a new segment here, the rundown, double down. Sharing a couple of extra points from this week's data or state or county-wide news and what it means for you. So let's go. Taking a look in California, our months of unsold inventory is below two months. So if no new homes come on the market, we'd be out of available homes within 60 days. For perspective, during the housing crisis in 2006, 2007, it was up to 16 months of unsold inventory. So there's still a big strain on inventory. And as we see prices continue to increase on the coast, we'll see those replications here a few months later. And locally this week, Ranch Mirage, Indian Wells, and Thousand Palms continue to be the most buyer friendly. And India continues to push the upper limits of the market index. My friends, my amigos, my shimigos. Hey, thanks for watching this market update and you like the new format and what's the real estate rundown grabbing you? Comment below as I'm always looking for great feedback to make this segment better. And hit like if this was valuable and subscribe for more next week. As always, thanks for watching. Have a Palm Springs Day.